As the holy month of Ramadan approaches, what will Britain's two million Muslims break their fasts with? Dates will no doubt be on the menu, but shopping for the right ones can be tricky. It says, it says product of Israel. So these are the ones, the, the money from this will be helping the Israeli regime and you know what they're, they're, they're doing to our brothers and sisters in, in Palestine. Will you talk to your, talk to your boss and get these removed from, from the shop? Like this Muslim shop, hundreds of others have Israeli dates on their shelves. Loopholes in European food labeling laws mean produce from Israeli settlements, which the United Nations considers illegal, continue to flood the market. Every year, British Muslims buy hundreds of thousands of pounds of dates to break their fast within Ramadan. But unless they check the labels, they don't realize many of these products come from illegal Israeli settlements. The Check the Label campaign has made a big difference in recent years. This year, volunteers for the Check the Label campaign have distributed thousands of leaflets to Muslims ahead of Ramadan. People say to me, dates, really, from Israel. People just don't know that you can, the dates are from Israel, so that's one. And secondly, some shop uh, keepers, shop, some shop owners do say, well, these dates are very cheap for us to buy. Um, people aren't complaining. So until people complain, until people start to boycott, a lot of shops won't change. Across town, a small company offers an ethical alternative. Zaytun sources products from Palestinian farmers and ensures the trade is fair. But it's tough competing with Israel's powerful export mechanisms. The Israeli product is a subsidized government product. It's large export volumes. And there's been lots of questions about the labor practices, whether there's child labor, whether there's not any labor rights. Whereas the Palestinian product, it's it's just at an entirely different scale. So we ask people really not to, to try and compare the two prices, but to question why something might be so cheap. Um, so all of our products are sourced ethically, so farmers are paid what they should be paid for their product, which, which tends to be a higher price tag. The dates from alternatives such as Zaytun, such as, for, um, such as from Tunisia or other countries, you, that, those dates might be a little bit more expensive, but however, your conscience will be free, and we ask people to eat well. The Check the Label campaign is supported by various groups, including Jews for boycotting Israeli goods. Activists say the export of dates to the European Union accounts for close to $100 million in revenue for Israel. Farina Alam, Press TV, London.